purpose of this rally and the purpose of this walkout was to let the governor know, was to let Congress know, was to let the world know that we're not standing for the budget cuts, that we're fighting for our education, and that this is more important than funding for prisons and, 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 and oil cuts and everything like that. We need to stand up for our rights and everything. We have a list of speakers right now that, that are going to come up and explain the situation right now. Our first speaker is our esteemed, uh, esteemed professor, Dr. McWilliams. Dr. McWilliams. <laughs> everybody what's going on I just want to make sure I participated in this whole event and I want to make sure that we stay organized and we let those powers to be know that we as Cheney students we as Cheney faculty members we as a Cheney family are not going to accept the budget cuts that have been proposed by our governor is that right all right, all right. Before I get off, I just wanna just wanna uh, give you guys a couple of facts about this budget. It's important that we all understand. If I can have your attention, because this is serious. This is a this is about our life right now. All right, so this is serious. It's important that we understand that under the governor's current proposal, he has cut about one billion dollars from education. Specifically, he has cut six hundred and fifty million dollars from higher education. So this indirect this is directly affects Cheney University and all the state schools. So we are here today to let the governor know that we do not intend to go down quietly. Is that right? The question that we have for the governor is where's the funding? Let me hear you say where's the funding? And because he may not be able to hear us loud enough from here, on Tuesday we're organizing so we can go to Harrisburg and ask that same question. What's that question? The question is where? Where's the funding? Also, one thing that we should know about this governor that was just elected, at the same time that he has proposed educational cuts, he has increased prison funding by 11%. So what does that mean? That means while he's trying to make it harder for you to gain an education, he's also making it easier for you to find yourself in prison. And we're not going to tolerate that, is that correct? So what I want to what I want to let the students know and what I want to infuse on you the students is to continue to be active, to continue to be organized and continue to make sure your voices are heard. The question that we're going to ask on Tuesday in Harrisburg is Where's the funding? So I want you to continue to be encouraged. I want you to continue to organize. You as students, we have a responsibility. We have a responsibility to let the powers to be know that we are unhappy. And not only do we have a responsibility to ourselves, but we have a responsibility to this university. This university has a long history. This university educated people like us before society even thought that people like us could accept or have an education. So we are doing this not only for ourselves, but we're doing it on the shoulders of people who've come before us, and we're doing it for the future generations after us, correct? So the question that I'm encouraging you all, Tuesday, sign up. People are going around asking for you to sign up to get on the bus Tuesday, get on the bus to Harrisburg, so we can ask that question. What is the question? What is the question? Stay organized. Thank you for your time. Thank you, thank you, Dr. McWilliams. The, a big purpose of the walkout was also to sign up students to go to the to go to the rally. We have about five charter buses to take up to 200 students to the rally. People with clipboards, please hold up your clipboards. We have people signing people up to get on the bus. If you want to volunteer, we go. We also have signups for that. You must you must put your name down, your phone number down, so we can remind you, and your ID down, so we can make sure that you have food from the cab on the trip. Because we're going to Harrisburg and we're coming back on the same day. Our next speaker will be Dr. Brantley, who's going to speak on behalf of the faculty union on campus. Dr. Brantley. Hi, everybody. How are you? You're beautiful, Cheney. I have to say, the last week was bitter for me. It is easy to ask the question, where is the funding? But the real question is, where are 
tax dollars. Because on Friday, most of your parents, most of you, had to pay taxes to the state of Pennsylvania. So I say it's not just funding. This is your money. Where is my money? Where are, they? Where are their tax dollars? You know why I'm asking that? Because you say it's okay to pay your tax dollars. But last week, not only did I get a reminder to pay my tax dollars, I, along with all of your faculty, received notice of retrenchment. That means that in the year 2012 and 13, every single one of the 14 universities will have to let some of us go. So when you go to Harrisburg, you say we don't have another day. We don't have another month. If you want your college degrees from the people who care about you, who have paid their dues, who have helped you make it to the finish line, who have paid their taxes, your parents have paid their taxes. And if you look out on that lawn, imagine how many thousands of students have paid their debt to Pennsylvania. We deserve the funding. We don't have to ask. I will see you all in Harrisburg. April 26, 28 on the 26th Tuesday so therefore I want to see the whole campus on Harrisburg making some noise letting the governor know that our voices do matter that we do count although we're a small school we still need our funding and we going to and when we get our funding we're going to show the government that our school is a great school and therefore and therefore, we're going to send a message to all our legislators, to all the universities across the state system that Cheney Voice do count. And therefore, also, let's also um, be accountable as alumni when we graduate to give back to Cheney. We got to give back to Cheney. So therefore, all our programs will continue and everything. So therefore, I just want to say thank you and I love y'all. Thank you, thank you, Raymond. That was a very much appreciated. I want to I wanna remind students just what he said. Instead of paying back student debt after we graduate, we should be able to give back to our, to, our, uh, to our university. We should be able to give to our kids. We should be able to give to our communities. We shouldn't be paying back debt to banks. Our next speaker is a, is a, is a transfer student and a Keystone Scholar. Please welcome Yashika Oakley to the stage. this but I'm a transfer student and I transferred to Cheney University and I'm already $20,000 in debt and I know a lot of you guys have problems with financial aid with scholarships with grant funding you can't find it you can't get it and now that they're cutting the budget cuts they're saying that tuition may raise 30% or more you can't afford it now right I mean my mother went into her 401k to send me to school put money on credit cards to pay for scholarships to that pay for money that scholarships wouldn't cover and I know for a fact that that's probably what's happening to most of y'all yes. right. who here has a, has a student loan that they're trying to pay back <laughs> who wait, wait. Who's, pay, who's working two jobs yes. just to come to school for the semester I'm working three yes. I'm working three <laughs> I need you guys to raise your voices. Everybody's going to Harrisburg on the 26th. Visit the, let your legislators hear your voice. Visit the rallyforeducation.org website. Write a letter to 
to your legislators. If you can't make it on the 26th, make sure that they know how you feel. Because if the, tu if the tuition goes up, half of y'all might not be here next year. We are a small school. We have 1,500 students. If half of us are not here, what does that mean for Chain University? It doesn't, it doesn't matter what your situation is. Think about your future. What is your future if the tax budget, if the budget goes through? Where will you fall? Will you be able to finish your degree? Uh, will you be able to finish your degree? Thank you. Make sure you sign up for Harrisburg 26. Thank you very much. Thank you, Yashika. What's the question? What's the question? I'm going to tell y'all who the next speaker is. The next speaker is currently a member of student government. The next speaker is Aria Tubman. The next speaker is your new elected governor of student government, Tom Via May. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Take a look at my son. in New York City and if y'all know our tuition is about $24,000 now if these funds go up how many of y'all gonna be here from out of state okay so we need to fight for our money our funding it is our money and we need it when now. it's our money and we need it when now. so everybody get together go to Harrisburg and let's fight for our funds Thank you, Tom Via. Thank you, Tom Via. So, we're here, we're here to remind all of you. We got clipboards everywhere. Again, hold your clipboards up if you got a clipboard. These are the people signing you up to get on the buses. We need everybody to sign up. I'd also like to thank Dr. Banks and the faculty and administration that walked out of their meeting today. They 